Hello, so I'm at an estate sale in Hampton. It's the last day. It's the last couple hours on the last day. So everything's half off. Uh, let's see if there's anything left for me to find a flip for a profit. Ah, uh, yes, the classic blue and pink mid-century tiled bathroom with way too much Avon in it. Just so much Avon. I saw these beautiful vintage uh, crocheted afghans, uh, but even at half off, I still haven't moved the three afghans I bought at the last estate sale, so I left those there. This is a gorgeous quilt. Unfortunately, it had severe staining, and also I'm going to show you here, it had some of the quilting areas coming undone, so I left that behind. Look at it. I was surprised to find a green themed mid-century bathroom, but I liked this. In this room, there's a lot of, you know, records that nobody wants and clear glass that nobody wants and <laughs> some dishes. I bet I could have probably made a deal on all these dishes, but I don't want to deal with that right now. I have too much stuff in my house as it is, as you guys know from my dehoarding series. I saw this and thought it might have been um, an old feed sack, but I actually have no idea what this is. It's for a pair of shoes. I guess I could have bought that and used it as a grow bag, but I left it behind. Got some Thai Beanie Babies and the only valuable thing I found in this room, which I will talk about at the end. I love little estate sales like that. Uh, I paid $9.25 for everything and I, I made out. So I didn't get that much stuff, but what I did get, I'm very happy with. So I will show you when I get back to my house what I picked up. So I picked up four crystal coasters because we have broken all of the crystal coasters I picked up at the last estate sale. And these are the only coasters that survive. This one's incessant need to chew on everything. So. They need dirt, apparently. They don't need to know she eats dirt. She likes to dig for moles, and then when she can't get it, she settles for the dirt that's in their hole instead. Because she's special. And this is a Hermanova hut oipoid vase from the 70s. It is absolutely beautiful. It's pressed glass. And this giant bowl is a mid-century modern Brook Park confetti bowl. This is the largest size, so these sell for around $30. If you can actually get the nesting set of three, depending on the color, that can go from $100 to $150. So this piece of plastic is valuable. So it's June, so I figured this was appropriate. And these were popular in the early 80s to hang in nurseries and in um, daycares and you can see it's just blank on the back. The rings that would have on the back are missing. They actually had safety pins in here and the boy claimed them to clean out a sprinkler head. But I need to stitch that back up and then I can add uh, new plastic rings on it. But I'm pretty sure this will go once I get it all cleaned up and ready to be sold. And then, you guys, the last time I did a little, little history thing about the crock pot and I found one of the early 70s catalogs. I also found this one at the house um, but I couldn't test it at the house so I didn't bring it with me. Also this was broken, the glass top. Uh, I would prefer to find one of the green ones uh, in this size. So one day maybe. But this is one of the original crock pot cookbooks and you can see it's rival Rival branded. I also got the Joys of Jello, uh, and it should be the Terrors of Jello because none of that looks appetizing. I'm sure there's Aspect in here too. Oh, let's find out. Trips and Ticks for mol for molding, flaking, and cubing. That doesn't sound like stuff you should. That no, just just no. Cream cheese. This is cream cheese ginger, pears, and lemon-lime gelatin. Sunset salad. No, just, look, look at that. Look, look at this cursed food. That is a savory gelatin. No. Then I had a recipe and instructions for a KitchenAid 
This is the exact KitchenAid that my mom has at her house. So I just thought it was cool to find an original, original booklet. This is one I actually got to sell, the Blueberry Connection. So this is by Cranberry Cottage in Norfolk, Scotia. I have no idea what this would sell for. I just like these old cookbooks. And then this one is selling for around five to ten dollars. I just thought it was really cool 70s graphics because this is from 1970. This obviously needs to be clean. I have no idea what that is. But it doesn't really have that much foxing or much damage to it. So I think between everything, I definitely got my $9.25 worth. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this is a shorter video, but I will see you guys in a couple days for the next one. Bye. Bye. Before y'all go, I just want to let you know that I will be doing a live whatnot auction every Monday at 6 p.m. I'll be selling off some of that vintage goodness I got at that one estate sale. So if you're interested, I will see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. Thanks, bye.